2016, the Florida State Seminoles went 10 and 3, ending the season on a five game winning streak, capped the season off with a dominating victory over the Michigan Wolverines in the New Year's Six Orange Bowl, all led by DeAndre Francois. His future looked bright. Then he ended up getting dismissed from Florida State. We're going to talk about what happened to DeAndre Francois, and we're going to discuss what team he'll be playing for. Let's get it. What's up, guys? Welcome to NMD TV. No more defeats TV. What we do is win, never taking any losses, and shout out to all my bosses. Guys, if you love college football, this is the channel for you because I talk about college football 24-7. And yesterday we had a great live stream. We were discussing the transfer portal. Is it good or is it bad for college football? And one player that got brought up in the transfer portal is DeAndre Francois. Now, speaking of live streams, guys, we will be doing a live stream tonight at 8 p.m. Central Time Zone talking about should college players get paid. So tune in to that. Call in and let me know what you think. Should players get paid in the NCAA? We'll be doing that tonight. But DeAndre, DeAndre Francois we looked up and saw that he was still in the transfer portal and hadn't escaped. Now, for people who don't know DeAndre's situation, I'm going to revisit it and break it down. Everything I say to this is alleged. These are the alleged of what happened. There are no full concrete facts about what happened, but I'm going to let you know what I know. Okay, so one night, DeAndre Francois and his girlfriend gets into an argument D diamond his girlfriend posts a video on the instagram on the instagram you can't see what's going on you only can hear things this is what was posted what throw it again so i can beat your ass i don't give a fuck throw it again Ooh, stop fucking hitting me in my fuck face you. i'm gonna hit you in your face every fucking time throw something else once Diamond posted that video on the on her Instagram, like I said, you can hear them arguing, you can hear ruckus, but you don't know exactly what happened. Willie Taggart the next morning released a statement. Willie Taggart ended up dismissing DeAndre Francois from the FSU football team, and he said this was Taggart's statement. Last night I informed DeAndre Francois that he is no longer a member of the Florida State football program. As we build a new culture and foundation for Florida State football, we have high expectations for all our student athletes, and we will not shy away from those of high standards of conduct. We are moving forward as a program. So when that happened, DeAndre Francois gets kicked off the team, and Florida State moves on from him. Well, then, a couple days later, Diamond goes to Instagram and posts a lengthy, a lengthy Instagram post and says, basically to sum it all up, this didn't happen. It was my fault. He never hit me. She even goes on to say she was the one hitting him. And people were thinking at this point, well, would DeAndre get another chance at Florida State? Um, you know, is Diamond telling the truth? Like I said, this is a crazy story because after Diamond posts that, her sister goes to Instagram and says Diamond's Instagram was hacked. She has been abused by DeAndre. And then she then Diamond's sister goes on to say that she was told not to comment anymore on the subject. So as you see, guys, we got craziness going on invo involving family members. Um alleged domestic violence, things of that nature. But to sum it all up, DeAndre Francois at this point is no longer with the Florida State team. So people wondered, would he even get another chance at football? Some people thought maybe he didn't do anything wrong and he was unfair kicked off the team. Well, today it was just reported by 247 Sports that DeAndre Francois will be playing football for Lane Kiffin in, the, in Florida Atlantic. He will walk on and compete for the starting job. Francois has two years of eligibility, and he will compete against Chris Robinson, who started last year, and Nick 
Twenty, who used to be um, Mr. Football for his state. And we got to remember, guys, no matter what you think of DeAndre, he did start his career at Florida State on fire. The guy went uh, in 2016, went 10 and 3, threw for over 3,000 yards, 20 touchdowns, and they capped that season off with the win over Michigan in the Orange Bowl. The next season, they play Alabama at the start of the, the season. He gets hurt, deals with injuries. Um, ends up not having a great tenure the rest of the year. And then going into this year, he was going to be the starting job. But then the story with Diamond and all of that happened, and he got dismissed from the team. Now he has a new chance. He has a new opportunity at FA, FAU. And this is what he said about the situation. He said, hey, I put myself in a terrible situation. I've learned from it. I take full responsibility for everything that happened. I take full responsibility for my actions. I just wanted to learn from it, grow from it, and that won't happen again. This has impacted my life, my life far more than anyone can imagine. It helped me grow as a man, and I'm ready to embark on new beginnings. So what do I think about this story? Well, like I said, we'll never truly know what happened between him and Diamond. It's an unfortunate situation. Um, I do not condone any type of violence towards anybody or any woman. Um, I will say, like DeAndre said, he put himself in that situation. He takes, he took full responsibility for it. So now I see him going to FAU, going under Lane Kiffin, who's known to take chances and give guys second chances. And I think he can flourish at FAU. I think he could end up being the starting quarterback if he can get back to what he was in 2016 and it um, really put all this behind him. Like he said, he takes full responsibility and once somebody takes full responsibilities, now if he can just build on those actions, let, the, uh, let his play speak for him, I think he will be all right playing for FAU. Guys, don't forget the live stream going on tonight at 8 p.m. U.S. Central Time. DeAndre Francois will be walking on at FAU. I'm out. Much love, guys. And as always, no more defeats.